Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Libra Coin or Facebook Coin. So, Facebook is going to launch its own cryptocurrency next year, uh, probably first quarter 2020. Uh, it's very soon. Also, I will touch on Bitcoin as well, just in case you're new to the channel, just to remind everybody that you can get an ONG token when you join the uh, Ontology Telegram group. In order to qualify, you have to send uh, one message in the last 28 days in the Telegram group in order to qualify for this giveaway. So they are going to do a lucky draw or something like that. Uh, and also, Coinbase, uh, you uh, you can earn up to $10 EOS in Coinbase, so you can check it out. Also, you can earn Stellar Lumen as well. Just in case you're, uh, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway or token swap. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. So, Indian, uh, India is going to be the first, uh, WhatsApp user will be the first to have access to Libra coin. So, if you think Facebook is powerful now, just wait until Basically, it's essentially the global federal reserve overseeing a global currency. So, and another thing is CNBC like saying what is real money. That is interesting. So CNBC already promoting the liberal coin before it is even born. They're saying that what is real money. Uh, they're saying that uh, the liberal coin is backed by real money, unlike Bitcoin. Is isn't it interesting? It's just interesting. The mainstream media. <clears throat> The mainstream media educating the masses, like hey, um, the uh, backed by backed by real money. So Libra coin, Facebook coin is backed by real money. Unlike Bitcoin, is not backed by anything. Uh, fiat, well, but fiat currency does fiat currency backed by anything? No, fiat currency is just printing money out of thin uh, out of thin air. It's not backed by gold, silver, or anything. So and with the financial collapse in 2008, they're printing money like as if there's no tomorrow. That's why the stock market is popping up and the real estate is skyrocketing as well. So, I mean, this is what the mainstream media teaching the masses. So, so I don't know. This is crazy. And then put dollar or another currency in, get equal amount, worth amount of liberal money reserve mean to limit volatility. This is pretty interesting. If you put uh, the equal amount of currency and then you get the equal amount of Libra, for example, if you're in Venezuela, if you put all this money in there, would that get one Libra coin? That would be a big, that would be a good deal, right? Especially some third world country and they have irresponsible fiscal policy, corruption, uh, political unrest, and then hyperinflation. This is maybe good for those third world country to uh, use this as a safe haven uh, and all that. This is pretty interesting. <clears throat> But this is what the mainstream media teach you. What is real money? Real money is backed by uh, Bitcoin. Is not backed by real money, right? <laughs> okay, that's that's insane. Please comment below what is real money, and uh, you know whatever CNBC said, just just forget about it. So I think Facebook is trying to make it stable coin, not an investment option. Um, more for the transactions. So keep an eye on uh, India. So this is the Libra's largest showcase. Uh, and then he also say, parenthesis, India, ban crypto. That's interesting. Yes, it will be easier to use and most will use it for transactions. 2020, will people know Libra more than Bitcoin? Um, I think this is good to the crypto uh, community as well because they will get used to using the wallet. Um, you know, Facebook, they probably, they will create some type of wallet and everything. And people are getting more comfortable using a digital wallet. Then that will be uh, more mainstream. We'll get into uh, the cryptocurrency. <clears throat> and uh, Libra will, will have government backing. And unfortunately, government will still control people. Uh, hers are still manipulate. And never say never is like calling for 200,000 from 20,000 without correction. So Andreas, uh, Andreas is, you know, is a prominent figure in the crypto, uh, in a crypto uh, currency world, in the crypto world. And he's saying that is Facebook liberal a real blockchain? No, of course, absolutely no. Because uh, Facebook is a decentralized system. If they build a blockchain, it will be decentralized, it will be centralized. Uh, it's not an open source for sure. And it's not decentralized. Is it? And also, in terms of censorship, the government can shut it down. And Bitcoin, you know, government can not shut it down. Just, you can do that. Just shut down the whole internet. 
Will it compete against Bitcoin and truly open uh, public blockchain? Of course, never ever. I mean, and then Libra is the government answer to Bitcoin and crypto. Um, dollar versus gold, Libra versus Bitcoin. Oh, come on. Bitcoin is... <sighs> you, can, you cannot compare Libra versus co Bitcoin. Seriously. Bitcoin is much, much more sophisticated than the stupid Libra coin. <clears throat> So basically, uh, it also tweet about good for crypto overall. Facebook will make crypto mainstream. People will get used to the concept of wallet. At the same time, people pay higher price for convenience. This means most will choose Libra over other cryptocurrency for real transactions. So that will affect other altcoins, not Bitcoin, because uh, Bitcoin is still a store of value and also um, uncensorship, right? This, you cannot censor Bitcoin. And another thing Bitcoin Marco is saying that let me present to you the founder of Liberal Coin. Uh, it's Mark Zuckerberg. Everybody know. Yeah. So if you ever need info about anyone at Harvard, just ask. I have over four thousand email, picture, addresses, SNS, and and I say what? How how you manage that one? And he's saying that people just submit it. I don't know why they trust me. Dumb. <laughs> So, you know, you know, everybody know that Facebook does not re respect your privacy. I mean, they basically use your data to they use and profit from your data and they sell it to the, uh, to the advertiser, you know. And another thing is uh, in terms of censorship and stuff like that. This is number of uh, countries where popular apps uh, were blocked or user got arrested. So WhatsApp was blocked more than any other two, while Facebook users were arrested for posting political, social, religious content in 27 countries. So in terms of censorship, it's not uncensorship. It can shut it down anytime. But big, but Bitcoin, you cannot shut it down. I think you, the only time you shut it down, maybe shut down the whole internet. You can shut down Bitcoin. And you can see Facebook, uh, people got, uh, platform got restricted, user got arrested, and WhatsApp as well. And also you cannot get into China because China you cannot use WhatsApp you use WeChat and you cannot use, even use Facebook in China and you can't even use Google in China I think you can use you I think the engine is Baidu in China but this is pretty interesting and so Libra white paper is already published yesterday so this is from Safadin uh, and he talked about uh, the white paper initial analysis the only digital currency other than Bitcoin that matters and it could succeed massively. Of course, you have 2 billion users. Of course, it's going to be, you know, will be successful in a certain extent. It's, if just 1% of people using it, you still have a, a lot of users. So, but it does not compete with Bitcoin. It will reinforce Bitcoin's value proposition and will likely need to rely on Bitcoin if it's successful. Yeah. So B Facebook basically have 2 billion account. Extremely, they have extremely uh, detailed data on every single of them because you guys are submitting all this uh, information to Facebook, right? Post all this picture, your habit, and just all that thing. I mean, it's totally stupid. You you, you give all, all this data for free. Are you serious? And this is uh, in this day of age, you've got to be careful what you posted online. I mean, seriously. And extensive data mining, identity verification, capability, uh, mean it has the potential to build by far the largest platform by user number of any financial institution. So basically, you have you to be on board billions on billions of users. Visa, PayPal need to go, go through the people's, you have to go through the people's bank to verify their identity, which is a highly expensive and manual and unscalable process, right? But if you're using Facebook, it's easy. Facebook you know, using those algorithms, using uh, AI to track your every move and knows you better than, basically Facebook tra tracks your every move and knows you better than you or your mom do. They don't need a bank and can scale much faster. This is a, this is a pretty uh, very ingenious model, you know, in terms of um, scaling issues. <clears throat> So in international transactions, go through Visa network, has to go through clearance, settlement, go through many financial institutions, central banking, and then it will take a lot of costs and risk as well. For liberal user can only, I mean, can, you can just peer to peer, right? You don't have to uh, go, you only go for one institution. So, and also you have 2 billion user, right? 
So Libra being backed by national currency means it is backed by US dollar because other national currency also at one point they're backed by US dollar. So basically the central bank of the US dollar, I mean US, uh, the Federal Reserve, they have, you know, and because some countries they use um, US dollar as, as a reserve, you know, to make sure their currency becomes stable and all that. And so basically, you don't have to go through KYC because because uh, Facebook already have all your personal data. There's no need to KYC <laughs> at all. And if Facebook is successful, then uh, we will likely to you know erode some of the erode some of the um, profit margin or market share like Visa, PayPal, Western Union, and Another thing you have to be, you, you just want to emphasize is that Facebook, the Facebook coin is a centralized payment processor on the US dollar, but they call it a blockchain. I mean, seriously, and uh, this is centralized. So it's unlike, so basically it's a centralized another, you can say, I mean, maybe like, uh, like all centralized shitcoin, they have set up a foundation to pretend the thing is independent. They are even pretending its development will be open source. Of course, it's not going to be open source. I'm, I don't think so. It's not going to be open source. Uh, yeah. I don't think those ledger will be, uh, will be, will be, you can, I mean, I don't think a regular guy can see the public ledger because here, for example, in Bitcoin, you put, you basically, uh, put the address in the uh, Bitcoin Explorer and then you can see what kind of transactions they have gone through, right? I don't think you can see that uh, in Facebook coin. So uh, this is pretty interesting. Let me know what you think about this Facebook coin or Libra coin. I think Libra coin is backed by Visa, Uber, Lyft, uh, Mastercard, uh, Spotify, uh, Vodafone and all that. So it's backed by a lot of merchants. Uh, of course, they have to back by merchants. Otherwise, they will be fall behind, especially MasterCard, Visa card. If they don't do that, who is going to use their Master Visa card in 20 years from now? Everybody 20, 20 years from now, they're not going to use the Visa uh, or MasterCard. They're going to use cryptocurrency. You basically use your cell phone um, to make payment. You go to the supermarket, you just wave your cell phone and make payment. You don't even have to use your, you don't have to even swipe your card. And even more extreme, maybe 30 to 40, 40 years from now, uh, I don't want to say that, but it seems like the trend is going. Uh, people, maybe they will get chip. So that is scary. So people get chip, uh, and then in order to get access to a building, you have to use your hand to wave it, and then you have to make payment, and then every, all the financial data, put the chips in your hand or something like that. And then when you go to the supermarket, you just wave your hand or something like that. That is very scary. And I don't. I, I hope this will not happen one day, but you never know. And with the AI and all that fiasco. And Peter Brand is talk about, um, people ask him why he trade Bitcoin. And he talk about this is the history uh, of Bitcoin parabolic advances. So basically he's talk about uh, there's nothing in history is like this. Uh, you can see from January 2010 to 20, uh, July 2010 to January 2011, you can see it's uh, 5 cents, right, Bitcoin, and then all the way go up to 24 bucks, it's almost 483 fold. And from October 2011 to November 2013, it's $2 and go all the way to 1,142, 571 fold. I mean, this is very short period of time, you can get like almost like over 400 fold, that's just very... Um, very parabolic, basically. January 2015 to December 2017, 164 to almost 20,000, 120, uh, 194. And December 2018, we don't know yet, uh, at the low is 3,100, 480, 48, 48, uh, 48, to probably, we are thinking maybe 100,000, it will be 32 fold. So from 2011 to December uh, 2017, you're talking about from two dollars all the way nearly to twenty thousand. It's like over nine thousand seven sixty five fold. That is uh that is enormous. I mean you have never. I mean this is a very dramatic move. If you compare Dow Jones, you can see uh thirty bucks from nineteen oh three to all the way right now is high twenty six. Uh, you you're talking about almost like how many decades? almost how many decades before you can, I, feel, I mean, almost a century before you can get 873 fold. 
For Apple, 1982, 16 cents to 32, over 1,000 fold. But then it takes very long time. Here, you can only take like maybe uh, a few years, three or four years. You can have a very huge gain, but not a financial advice. This is just based on historical data. Use your due diligence before you put in any money uh, in cryptocurrency. Don't put in the money that you cannot afford to lose. For Amazon, a dollar thirty-one ninety ninety-seven is almost go to two thousand right now, so over one thousand five hundred four. Netflix is thirty-five cents, four hundred twenty-three, and then is over one thousand two hundred four. But those are almost take about decades and uh to get that you know, uh to get that gains. So let me know what you think about uh Bitcoin and also about the global the uh the Facebook coin or Libra coin. <coughs> Let me know what you think about that. Please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. That's very interesting to hear your perspective as well. And I answer uh, probably 99.9% .9 of your uh, your comment. I, I usually good at it, but sometimes it's just not, got too busy. So 99.9% .9 I respond to your comment. Please comment below. That will help my ranking in YouTube as well. So if you find this video, video helpful, smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway or token swap. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency or uh, other altcoins have potential risks. Please use your due diligence.